Hi guys, thanks for joining in. I'm Scott Brown. I am an Amazon employee as of March 18th, 2022. It's about 4 a.m. in the morning. I am a Blue Badge employee. Here is my Blue Badge for those who want to reference. My wife and I, we, we started uh, Amazon in June or July of 2022 as White Badge during uh, COVID in 2020 uh, to try to help our communities out. And by August of 2020, we got our blue badges and been working at Amazon ever since. In December of 2020, I was, I was working at UI, in the UIS department, robotics, and a problem solver unannounced behind me came into my confined workspace. And as I pivoted, to put a tote, after I scanned the tote, I pivoted to uh, put the tote on the outbound conveyor and he ran over my foot with a U-boat. It was loaded with boxes. I yanked my foot out of the way. Um, I did report that to my manager and to Amcare. They uh, went ahead and called in security uh, to view the cameras to make sure that, I guess, that my case was what happened. Um, they uh, put ice packs on my ankle and sent me back to my station to finish the day uh, since we had mandatory overtime. The, ne the next day that night, I worked a third uh, graveyard shift. So the next day, my leg swelled up so bad I couldn't even put weight on it. I didn't have any paperwork. I couldn't call FTW1. Um, so I had to go back down to uh, the site Asked them for paperwork. It took about 45 minutes to an hour waiting in the parking lot for them to get the paperwork. And they sent me to Cassandra. Cassandra uh, took x-rays of my foot, uh, gave me a boot and crutches, and told me that I could go back to work and late on light duty. And I did. And then a couple weeks passed, you know, a week and a half. And the, this one started going up to my leg, my, my knee. I kept raising my hand and say, hey guys, something's not right, something's not right. Um, I had an appointment, my second my second um, consent appointment was on the 15th. They just uh, gave me some more ice packs and told me I need to keep my foot elevated. Um, and then and then I kept raising my hand again. And then on the 28th, I went back to consent and said, look guys, something's not right. They're swelling my, my, all the way up to my knee. I can't bend down. I mean, it's pain, painful. Even the payment they give is so painful. So they sent me to the ER. Well, they didn't send me. I had to drive to the ER. I checked myself into the ER. That's when I found out that I have blood, massive blood clots from my ankle to my knee. Um, I remember in the hallway in the ER, the, the nurse said, this is the, the biggest clots we've ever seen which is kind of scary, you know? And then um, also they also confirmed that I had, I suffered a PE, which is the blood clots went to my lungs. And I was very fortunate that I didn't die. So I, I did remember in December, right around Christmas, that time, um, there was a time that I was in bed. I was crying. My wife came home and she says, honey, how come you didn't do your chores? Yeah, I got honey dues. Um, I was like, honey, I, you know, I hurt I, my, my breathing, you know, shortness of breath, painful. Oh my gosh, it hurt so bad. I just cried. I just, I didn't want to do anything. Well, no one told me to look out for blood clot symptoms. So I was very lucky that my angels were looking after me that day because I feel like, you know, I, I could have, could have died then. This is crazy. So, so now, you know, like I said, today is March 18th, 2022, 4 a.m., Amazon has me as uh, self-injured, which is kind of crazy. I mean, that, that well, hopefully, um, that's why I created this channel. You know, they had me listed as self-injured. You know, I have no income. I haven't had an income for months. They stopped my pay. They, they stopped my benefits. They didn't even tell me my benefits were stopped. So when I logged into my E to Z app in, in February of this year, I was trying to look for my medical card, I didn't have access to it. I was like, huh? So I called their tech support and I couldn't find out that they dropped my coverage. They didn't even notify me. 
which is sad. So, you know, I'm fortunate enough, you know, my, I come from a big family. My parents always instilled into us kids to, hey, you know, make sure you save extra because you never know, at least three or four months extra because you never know what may happen, right? So we're lucky enough that I had savings at the time. You know, I lived off our savings because, you know, when you cut your spouse's income, you know, you still have bills. You still have rent and car payment, insurance, and you still have cost of living. So when that was cut off, you know, I used our savings. And then that dried up. Then I used my credit cards. And now I'm maxed on my credit cards. You know, my my debt to credit ratio is 100%. Luckily, I haven't missed any payments in 14 years. I'm still 100% paid on time. You know, I stress about that because, you know, that will really ding my credit and kill my credit. But, you know, all I can do is thank you, Amazon, for that. Thank you for not paying me anything. You know, it just is very frustrating. It really is. And and I created this channel, Prime Injured Us, because, you know, I wanted to showcase not only to you guys, to everybody. I mean, other employees, you know, make sure that they were aware of their surroundings. You know, I mean, all the guy had to do is wait maybe 30 seconds at, or say something. Hey, I'm behind you or, you know, or something make eye contact with me or something, let, him, let me know that he's behind me. But no, he didn't. And by him doing that, it changed my life forever. So now, um, like I said, I, I have a DVT from, actually from my ankle to my mid thigh now, it moved. Uh, at one time it was 100% blockage. Uh, now I have trickle flow coming out. So when her blood goes into my leg, it trickles out of my legs, so it, you know, kind of heavy foot, as they say. Uh, my leg swells up if I walk too long or if I do any activities for a long period of time. When I say a long period of time, my current restrictions at now are I can't sit for more than 60 minutes. I can't stand or walk for more than 30 minutes, which FTW1 has sent me a JAR. A JAR is a job accommodation a report and they said that they are unable to accommodate me so this was in September 20th of 2021 so I've been waiting for them to reassign my case or reassign me to a different job title and then that has not come yet I didn't find out until uh, let's see I didn't find out until I think, I'm not sure what day, it's in January, that, or maybe it's February, that I am a LOA on a self-injured LOA leave, and that, um, which means it means no pay, no benefits, and that in order for Amazon to reassign me, she said, she being my DSO, Disability Leave Services case manager, I won't say any names, uh, said that I needed to have my doctors indicate in the doc in the doctor's note that my condition is permanent, which is another uh, another video at a different time. Uh, right now, I just want to do an intro to the channel. I don't really want to get into all the details at this time. I'll make individual videos on my journey here. Uh, so, and then if you guys could just follow me, um, on my social media, my YouTube, I know I need about 10,000 subscribers in order I can do live stream. I would like to do live stream so I can interact with other employees that, are, that have been hurt on the job. Um, so that way we can answer questions live. Um, I'll probably set up maybe a GoFundMe. I would like to, um, get some funding so I can pay for a print to garment printer and print my own, not my own, but just be able to create, create and design and print custom colors and, and uh, styles for my compression stockings because I, I had to wear them for life on my right leg. And I know other people would like to have different colors besides black and tan. So maybe I could um, create something like that on the side 
as a side business um, to get some more income coming in. So I'm slowly, I, I am dependent on my wife. You know, I'm fortunate enough that she does work at FTW1 still. And there's no retaliation at this point, but my attorneys will uh, probably give them a demand letter probably in this month. And we'll see if there's any retaliation uh, towards her for that or, you know, for me, because I am starting this channel. I want to get um, other work-related injury uh, employees together so we can we can talk. Uh, give them a channel, give them a voice, so we can all say, raise our hand and say, hey, what's going on? This is not fair. You know, we didn't deserve this. We didn't ask to get hurt, you know. So I'd like to do that. Um, please follow, like me, um, subscribe to the channels. Uh, you know, if you wanted to donate to the GoFundMe or maybe I do Patreon or something like that. Um, I thought about doing... Uh, some videos on how to improve your scan rate for the UIS robotics. I was a top performer. I understand the computers. I understand the technology, how they work. There's some things that you need to look at for FTW1 and their, the, the machines, the bots. Um, and I'll, I'll do a couple of videos on that. So that way it will help you increase your, your score, your rate score and so forth. Um, other than that, um, if anybody has any job openings, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to work, trying to find work that I work from home, which is tougher than said. Um, or if, if you can accommodate me, I have a doctor's note in place until September of 2022. Um, with the, the one hour, I can't, like I said, I can't, I can't sit for an hour. Uh, walk or stand for 30 minutes without having to adjust my weight without you know if my, my legs start swollen up at any given time I should I need to be able to to extend it to rest uh, to, to give time for the blood to go back out of my leg um, before it swells up to a point where I you know my pain mids or can't handle it um, I my my skill set is is wide I was a VP of operations I know the life cycles of of a product from design to manufacturing to shelf life packaging um, security uh, LP uh, for many years I volunteered in the fire department on the fire power four got uh, some FEMA uh, certifications uh, CPR know of that uh, excellent in in computers uh, I was a senior network admin I have been a director of IT for the school district. Um, so I'm learning GoLang now as a backup plan. Um, my brother's a senior developer and I like to learn GoLang so that way I can work from home and program as well. I did pass my, my basic uh, GoLang certificate from ha uh, hackerrank.com. So I'm excited to keep on expanding my, my education on that. Um, but yeah, if, if you know anything or know someone that could maybe, you know, put me to work because Amazon clearly uh, dropped the ball. I mean, kind of kicked me to the curb. Um, so it's it's getting getting tough on the financial side of it for sure. And and I know I'm not the only one. I I, I look on YouTube, I, I do my research and there's, there's so many other employees, they treat the same. So... If you are one of those employees, please like and subscribe me, uh, follow me, um, reach out to me. I like to hear your story. I like to, uh, you know, showcase that as well. I mean, people need to be aware of what's going on, even even if you haven't been heard in Amazon. You know, I mean, it could happen tomorrow. You need to know what you need to do. I mean, you need to make sure that they report it. Make sure you get the paperwork. So, so yeah, just follow me. Um, Hope this hope this goes somewhere. Hope hope the knowledge goes somewhere, and I will see you soon.
guys thank you for visiting my youtube channel and my social media outlets for prime injured us <laughs> it's something I'm, i wanted to do something i wanted to do for years now i just haven't had the time to do it nor the confidence to do it um i wanted to create the channel so that i could showcase uh, the awareness and also my, god my, it's so freaking hard